first cast of the day on the shallow drain and it's in darkness. <laughs> Let's get amongst it. Morning troops, another day, another drain on oh, about a bit of a donut <laughs> donut session. <laughs> I'm the donut. I did, I was working late so I thought last night so I thought well I'll and I plan to respool my reels, put some new line on. And I've got home and far oh, I know what I'll do. I won't bother, I'll do it on the bank tomorrow. Fish with two rods, respool the third rod, you know, swap them round. Brilliant idea, only I was only fishing about an hour, 20 minutes and it started raining so all my gear got is getting wet, I'm wet. I ain't even had time to get my raincoat out of the bag but I can always change this over. It's a grey murky overcast day, very very mild, I'm on a very very shallow drain so as well as respooling the reels I had to break down all my rods and change all the uh, tactics. It's only two, two and a half, three foot deep here. You can't fish with the, uh, the running water pattern Austin rigs on here. It's static beds all the way, so I'm going to get them all set up. I've got one more rod to respool. I'm fishing about an hour. Half a sardine static dead and a whole roach static dead. No joy so far. It's, the water's got a bit of a tinge to it. I might, instead of where I normally boost my baits with fish oil, I might boost them with a bit of Predator Plus. The water got clear, but it's clear, as clear as I've seen it for a long time on all the drains and rivers, so a bit of colour maybe, as well as the attractant, might attract some fish in. But at the moment, yeah, I've got one more rod to respawn. <laughs> We're on a, I say we're on a very narrow Lincolnshire drain and the plan today is I'm going to fish here three or four hours if I need anything by 11, half 11 I should quickly wrap up and whiz round in the car to another drain but I mean it looks, it looks good uh, there's, not, there's not a lot of um, foot and boot marks I think there's been a lot of people fishing along here obviously it's been flooded at the moment I've got, so I've got three rods in at the moment, I'm just going to bring in my third rod and re-spool it. So I'll be back down to two rods again. It's, I, yeah, it was a disaster this morning. I, I thought I'd have a right good brainwave. Oh, I'd do that on the bank, it'd be lovely. <laughs> and the rain wasn't forecast till sort of 10, 11 o'clock, so I thought I'd have it all done. No, <laughs> quarter past seven, it starts raining. So. As I say, I've got two rods in. I'm just going to uh, respool. Just going to respool my third reel, and then um, I ain't even had a cup of coffee, porridge pot, nothing. Sacrifice it all for a run, though. So I got it before dark. Or, you know, after, before dark, <laughs> before light. It was still dark. So my, my left hand rod was out really quite early, quarter past seven. It's still dark then. I had no interest at all yet, which is not unusual for this drain. It's quite narrow here. If you don't land on the fish, you've got to wait for them to come to you. So, as I say, I'm going to um, stick it out to about 11, half 11. If I haven't had anything by then, I shall wrap up quickly and uh, move around to another drain. But at the moment, I say it's very, very mild. When I got here, it was five degrees. And it's, uh, a grey and drizzly day, which sometimes is quite good pike-wise, you know, there's no direct sunlight, it's not bright and hot, 
the murky conditions, sometimes it produces all my gear, but all my rod bag, my rucksack, everything. So it's going to be one of those days. Hopefully it'll be drier later and it'll dry out on the bank. Right, let's crack on. Let's get this last reel respooled and then uh, we can crack on and catch some pike. Time for a boost. Well, it's stopped raining, hopefully. <laughs> we've been fishing a couple of hours now and uh, we've had nothing. So, you know, it's uh, running out of time already. You know, if I'm, if I'm thinking about making the move, you only get eight hours of daylight this time of year. So it's a question of trying to nab a fish in the next hour. It's, gone to, it's just gone 10 o'clock. So we're, you know, we're only... Uh, only got an hour, hour and a half top whack here now. There seems to be a, some signs of activity moving through the swim, but they're not breaking the surface. The water's too murky to see them, so I, I don't even know if they're pike. But I definitely see the bow waves of some of the fish, but what they are, I don't know. Could be tench or bream moving through, you know. Yeah, there's no there's no thriving scattering around or anything like that. There's no sign obvious signs of pike in the area. Just boosted the baits again, recast the left hand one, give it a little bit of a twitch. See if there's anything lurking around, but at the moment it's uh the shallow drain here is um proving very very iffy this year yeah, it's, you know, it's, uh, the course fishing wasn't great in the summer and the pike fishing not been great either I mean I tend to fish this the pike more early season than late season but I've had some good fish out of here in January the whole length of it so you know it's not like it doesn't do a fish but at the moment It's uh, <laughs> it could be decision time, innit? I, I made my mind up I was going to pack up and go to a different drain if I hadn't had a fish by 12, and I'll stick into that. Well, I say 12, I'm, I mean, I want to ideally, I, if, if I'm moving, I want to start moving about 11 30. I want to be on the next drain at 12, fishing by quarter past 12. So it doesn't leave me a lot of time, but. A lot can happen in an hour. Let's crack on. Alright troops, first things last. I'll get a couple of quick baits out, static deads, because that's what I was set up in the last drain. And then we'll start setting up my pattern lost the rigs for two of the rods. But at the moment I'm just gonna flick out some static deads. See what's around.
Oh, well, the move paid off. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Double take. Woohoo! Ten minutes fishing, and we're away. Let's get them both back. Get them in the sling. Let them recover, and get them both back. Oh. That's the second one. I'll explain everything in a minute and we're just going to get them back. Lovely fish. That was the first. <laughs> well, both on pattern lost roaches. Let me get them back and I'll explain everything to you. Woohoo! Let's get down to the water's edge, get them back. Whoa. They're both doubles. We've got one facing one way, one facing the other, so I can release them individually. There goes one. There goes two. Whew. Right, troops. Welcome to the new drain. I moved half 11, got here at 12. Started fishing at quarter past. It's now half past 12. I've had a double take. And that ain't the only runs I've had. <laughs> so I got here. Whew. Worked up a sweat. Hope the wind don't interfere with the audio too much. Sorry, troops. Yeah, so I, uh, I got here. And obviously my rigs are all set up for the shallow drain, static deads. So I flicked two out. And the third one I was changing over to my running water pattern luster rig. And my left hand rod goes half, half a mackerel. And it went, run down there, wound down, nothing. Bugger. So I flicked it back out again. Carried on doing my pattern luster rigs. It went again, and again, weighing down into nothing. Well, actually, I've blown my chance now. It took me about 10, 15 minutes to get everything sorted. So then all of a sudden I got three rods in. Right rod, with me running water pattern, lost the rig, with a one inch roach. That went. Weighing down, that was the bigger of the two. Unhooked it. Covered it in the wave sling, left hand rod, pattern lost to three ounce, four ounce roach goes. Mm -hmm. So I take the sling down with me, zip it up, put it in the margin, played the other one, <laughs> got it in, thank God, brought that up, and then you see the double take. Just released both of them unharmed, none deep hooked. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you're doing something, even if you've got a fish from the bank and one of your rods goes, you get down there and you see, you either set the hooks or you miss the fish. Go down there. If you've got trebles on, strike into that fish. If you miss it, you miss it. It hasn't done any harm. If you hook it, them hooks are set. You can't swallow them, can't deep hook yourself. Then you can put that rod down and sort out your other fish. So that's what I did. I just run straight down Wound down, I was expecting to wind down into thin air, but then running water pattern lost the rigs, are, they're bang on. It was on. So I've got that in, got that in the landing it, put it in the sling with the other one. <laughs> got me trophy shots and got them back. And we've been fishing 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> That's brought us miles. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes when you move, and you play a hunch or you go for it, you have a gamble, sometimes it pays dividends and today it has I'm chuffed a bit <laughs> let's catch some more
third one in less than an hour it's not a double but it's a nice fish closing in on 10 pounds but not quite i don't think lovely job that was on the static half sardine lip hooked they don't take them down very well them statics they pick them up and move them with the pattern osters they hit them on the go look at that beauty beautiful body a bit like me <laughs> let's get her back well is that for a clump of weed <laughs> my middle rod was there when i just lost the That float is twitching. Let me get in position. That float is twitching. Let's go. An Austin roach and it's nailed again. The difference between the takes on a static dead and a pattern Austin dead are unbelievable. That's a better fish. Well, oh, that's about the same size as all the others, ain't it? Oh. Number four of the session. Not a double, it's another high single. It actually felt bigger than all the others put together, but <laughs> pattern osted roach. Hit it bang on. No messing around. That's four in two hours. Really happy, really turning into a great little session this now. Dead baiting for pike. Ooh, we do love a fend and drain, don't we? There's the mouth. There's the mug shot. Let's get her back. Well, that was a manic start to this afternoon, weren't it? I think sometimes you follow your hunches, go for it, and you get your rewards. So we've had four fish, been here four hours now, so it's quite and right off. It was really hectic, so a double take. I had a couple of runs before that. I probably had. No, there's six runs and I've had four fish. The two runs I've missed have both been on the uh, static dead. Paternoster rigs again, 100% strike rate, so I'm really happy with them. Just boosted the baits. And yeah, we, everything's right with the world, isn't it? <laughs> Some, you know, sometimes you up sticks and move to a different swim or a different venue and it doesn't pay dividends, but today did. I mean, I was sitting there, where I was, I'd, it looked like it'd do a fish, but it's been a real struggle along that stretch this year, so I gave it four hours, there was nothing happening, so quick wrap up, quick whiz around here, and bang, when we were in, if only I'd, uh, well, I said, if only, if only I'd put my pattern lost rigs on straight away, and I wanted baits in the water, so you know, I was out quick. I would have had one static dead anyway, 
just to chop and change it, you know, off a variety. So, yeah, I'm pleased with the way the last couple of hours have gone. There was a pike match on here last week, but I think it was a lot further downstream. So, I'm sorry, upstream and. There weren't a lot of footprints on the bank when I got here. You can tell when someone's been in a swim because it's still treacherous underfoot because of all the uh, the rain and the flooding. It's you know it's slippery as hell. So it's <laughs> you got to waddle down, waddle up. It's uh, you know yeah it can be a bit iffy down there, especially getting a fish in the net. That's all right. It's, getting, it's trying to turn around with a net in such an enclosed space and oh yeah it's, it can be quite hard work but we've had, we've had our rewards today sometimes you don't get them but today we have so it's really been good really want to thank everyone for watching my videos and subscribing and liking and commenting the channel's really starting to pick up now and grow I really do appreciate it it's uh you know, we're, slow, we're slowly getting there. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that subscribe button. Go on, just, just touch it. Don't cost nothing. A little icon there. Go on, give it a whack. <laughs> yeah, so we're you know, happy as Larry. We've had a fish. And um, you know, I'm pleased as punch that we've had more than one. You know, the last few sessions we've had, we've nicked, we've, we haven't been blanking, but we've been nicking a fish here, nicking a fish there. We've had a few today, I want a few more. You know, it's uh, about an hour's daylight left, maybe an hour and a half, so hopefully we can nick a fish or two before it gets dark. The old count. <laughs> Smallest of the session, but that's number five. Let's get it back. Let's get him back to grow bigger and stronger, and we'll see if we can catch his big sister or his mum. Number five and can. Static dead, half a sardine. Her bait was almost as big as the fish. <laughs> It's almost dark now, troops. We just had a jack, and uh, again, I saw my line moving before I had any indication. I got down to the rod, and it, it didn't look right. You know, it, I knew something was there, but there was no indication whatsoever. Obviously, it was so small; it's picked up the bait and just held on to it. And waited and waited, and all of a sudden the float moved. As soon as the float moved, I wound down and I was into it. Lip hooked. Top lip, just there. So, you know, it's. It was, so it was a jack. <laughs> the bait was bigger than the fish, probably. <laughs> well, no, but you know what I mean. It wasn't that much difference in size. So, it's a nice uh, little fish gone back. Hopefully, it'll grow into a big, big big girl and then who knows we might have a big girl before it gets dark just had a beep on my left hand rod i'm just going to go down and have a look at that now just a bit of debris on the line floating twig we would have kept
pulling at the line and it would have kept beeping so just like to have a recast and wouldn't you know it bait comes off on the recast so fresh bait on the left hand rod that's my paternoster roach three or four ounces so it's uh so it's getting dark now the witching hour as i like to call it and so hopefully we can have another one before it gets dark because we've you know we've had a good session here this afternoon blank in the morning on the other drain bit the bullet decided to move, i could have moved swims i decided sod it i'm going to move drains completely i'm really glad i did you know it's uh, it's paid dividends doesn't always you know what i mean it's like blackjack you you know you stick or twist you've got to live by your decisions and luckily today we've uh, we made it pay you know we had a double take which was terrific i never one of them for donkey's years uh, you know, we've had four fish all around the nine to eleven pound range nothing huge nothing shabby either you know it's just good solid steady sport and then we just had the jack so hopefully we've gone from what we'll go from one extreme to the other and go from a jack up to a croc <laughs> so we're all set fair for the last you know it's it gets dark pretty quickly but clad's trying to break up so i might get a little bit more daylight than i'm expecting hopefully we'll nab one before it gets dark this is the last time i speak to you really appreciate all the views and all the comments and all the likes thanks for watching and i'll see you on the bank real soon but it ain't over i could well be uh <laughs> having a big one you never know they've been feeding here let's just hope there's a big one in the vicinity